Hi there. Jennifer Elizabeth Masters here. And it's kind of late here in Scotland, um, but I just wanted to check in and, and let you know a little bit of what's going on here. Uh, currently, I am staying at a beautiful bed and breakfast that was built in 1842. And believe it or not, Wind in the Willows author, Kenneth Graham, lived here when he was, uh, I guess he was about, I don't know, young, young boy. But he lived here for two years, and there's a beautiful little stream that runs down the side of the property. And uh, in front is, um, I'm trying to think what lock it is, but there's, a, we're right on the water. It's a lock fine, uh, F Y N E. So it's beautiful here, water on, on two sides, and a lovely little bed and breakfast. And the fact that I'm even here in this place in this bed and breakfast where um, it, Kenneth Graham was raised and grew up, you know, with his family and became a famous author is kind of interesting where I'm doing this research for this wonderful book writing retreat here in Scotland. So I just wanted to let you know that the way to live a magical life is to trust yourself and when you trust yourself, you trust the guidance you receive. And I'm just going to tell you a little story about what happened. We had a beautiful day today. It was the first day it rained. And um, we were in uh, the Ben Nevis mountain range. It was pretty chilly, snow on the mountain tops. And um, Alan, my, my friend and tour guide, was outside of the vehicle. And two people from India who had just climbed the mountain and gone into the Lost Canyon. Um, or, sorry, it's Lost Glen because I have to I have to use the Scottish terms. A glen is a valley here, and so they had climbed this mountain and were really ill prepared for the type of weather up there, and they were waiting for their taxi to come, and it hadn't shown up. And they stopped Alan and said, you know, could you call this number? Next thing you know, he's sliding the stuff in the back seat over. And this couple from India that is celebrating their second anniversary got in the back seat. We talked until we dropped them off at their hotel. So when you trust and you follow the guidance you receive, magical things happen. So on our way back through the town of Oban, uh, I've been asking for fish and chips for quite some time. And so we stopped at this wonderful fish and chips restaurant there in Oban. We talked to a lovely lady next to us whose daughter's getting married on Sunday. And uh, she was asking for us to pray for sunny weather for her, for her daughter, which we did. And then we started to walk through the town and it was still rainy. And as we walked by this coffee shop, almost simultaneously, Alan and I both turned to a coffee shop. I said, how about we go in there and have a coffee? Because we had a good hour's drive on windy roads before we got home. And so we, we both went in, we ordered a, a latte. And uh, while he's standing at the counter paying, I took mine and wandered upstairs. And I saw there's a lady sitting there. I said, do you mind if I sit here? And she said, no. So this is the magical part. So the fact that I wanted to go into this coffee shop after having a nice dinner was interesting. The fact that I trusted my guidance and wandered up the stairs and sat in the same room as this lovely lady. Interesting. Wait till I tell you the rest. And so while I sit there, and this happens to me all the time, she started telling me her story. And she's telling me about how sick she's been and how she's had sinusitis and how she was in the hospital and she hadn't planned to spend the night in Oban. And here she was in this coffee shop talking to someone <laughs> who does healing. And so, uh, yes, I did some work on her, but the bottom line is, the fact that I was sitting there, I was guided. I trusted my guidance. And because I did, I had this 
amazing conversation with someone who needed some help. She was wanting to go off in five directions at the same time. And, you know, we have to focus on one thing at a time to be able to do it well. So when we trust in ourselves and we trust in our own guidance, we listen, we do and follow that guidance. And then life becomes magical because doors open, people show up. And she started talking to me about how she was looking for a retreat in Scotland. So this is the type of thing that can happen to you too. Love yourself fearlessly. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about what people say to you. Trust your guidance. Okay, so I'm just going to check and see what everybody's saying here. Hi, Megan. Hi, Helen. Thank you. I'm so glad that you do. Um, so right now it is, um, you know, I'm looking probably a little shabby here. It's almost 1130 and it's probably dinner time for you. Um, so I have, I think, two more days here and I'm back flying to California on Friday. It's been an amazing trip. And what I would say about Scotland is it is bursting with magic. It is way beyond um, whatever I expected. Beautiful in so many different ways and so much water. There's water inlets everywhere and locks, which are lakes usually very deep. There's canals and rivers and streams and mountains. There's just so much beauty here. So um, I hope that you are watching what I'm doing here on Facebook. I thank you for following me. And um, so the guidance that I would give you about, about magic and trusting that the guidance you receive is accurate. So the, the more quiet time that you have, the more solitude you have, the more that you can turn this thing off, not listen to the news, not watch television. So you have time to sit in silence and really listen to what's going on inside of you. Because there's, there's all sorts of voices in our head, you know, our little ego is trying to tell us what to do and what not to do. And then there's the still, small voice. That's the one. And Alan's been asking me, what, what kind of voices are you hearing? <laughs> and, and it may just be a feeling sometimes, or it's a knowing. And, you know, when I walked by that coffee shop, I hadn't planned on getting coffee. And the place looked empty. And as we walked in, actually, the owner said to us, you know, you may not want to be in here because we just had the place painted. It smells like paint. And I didn't notice any paint smell. We could have walked right out and not had a conversation with that woman who needed my help, this woman looking for a retreat in Scotland. So we've got to listen. We have to trust. And we need to quiet ourselves down. We need to sit in meditation or um, in stillness, turn off the radio, turn off the television, and then quiet our mind. So I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Thank you for watching. Do trust that inner voice and quiet that mind. I have lots of blog posts on my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com and they will help you to quiet your mind. Or you could use the Divine Presence Process Meditation, and that is on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, and blessings from Scotland. I love you. Thanks for watching.